So now that we've you know, put together the Exos and we've got it set up a little bit, now I want to show you guys actually how to operate a little bit, how to actually you know, um, pick up a gimbal, a couple of different modes of operation, and a few of the features that it has. You notice up here at the very top you have these two, um, these two um, toggles that allow you to adjust tension. I'm going to turn counterclockwise here for more tension on the arm itself. This just gives me, you know, when I release it, it gives me more tension upwards. For a heavier gimbal, like I have my Movi M15 over here, you know, I have a, a, a Sony F5 on, I have a pretty heavy you know, package that I'm trying to pick up here. I'm going to add a little bit more tension to start out with. If I had a lighter gimbal, maybe like you know, an M5 or a DJI you know, Ronin M or something like that with a smaller camera, I'd go for less tension. But the idea is, is that you want to balance these as closely as possible to each other. You can kind of visually inspect you know, this side channel right here and see where you are position-wise. Further to the bottom is going to be more tension. Raising up is going to be going to be less tension. So again, you know, counterclockwise gives you the more you know for a heavier load. Clockwise is going to be for a lighter load. Um, and another thing that another question that we get a lot of times is, can you get in and out of the of the Exos by yourself? And the answer is yes. And I want to show you guys, you know, kind of how you do that, and you know, a couple of the couple of the, um, ways of kitting it out to where you know it is adjusted for your body and yourself, and it's going to be able to operate nicely. So the way, first thing I'm going to do is I want to adjust over here. I want to select the right um, rung that's going to give me the correct um, belt size for my body. You'll find, you know, you just have to kind of guesstimate it, you know, the first time and you'll find, okay, this is what works for the size of person that I am. So I've done that already as I've just chosen, um, you know, the correct number of notches out here that's, that's going to fit this nice and snugly, snugly around my hips. Um, so first thing to do to get into it, I'm just going to adjust the stand I've already done, you know, to about the right height to where it fits, you know, right around my waist. I'm just going to, you know, estimate it there. And I'm going to step back into it, like so. And first thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to bring the belt around myself, and then I'm just going to slide one of these, um, one of these toggles in. I'm going to slide the other one in. I'm going to get them to click into place a little bit and just give myself a little bit of tension. I'm just going to adjust. I'm just going to push these outward a little bit, get it to where, you know, it's snug. I don't, you know, I don't want it too much tension. I can always release them and kind of, you know, get another bite on it, make sure that I get it to where it's comfortable for me, but where it feels kind of almost like a backpack, like it's, you know, distributing the weight down here to my, uh, to my core, to my hips. That's the idea, right? So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shoulder straps. I'm going to adjust these to where they're just snug. This part of it is not really structural. I just don't want these to be, you know, wonking around, rocking back and forth. They just need to be snug. They don't have to be super tight. You know, the load-bearing part of it is obviously down here. So once I've got them adjusted, I'm just going to lock these in. Let's go around my other arm here. Lock this in. Behind me, too, I have this lumbar support. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm just going to pump this up a little bit until it feels comfortable and, and it feels just nice and snug and to where, you know, my lower back, the, the, um, the uh, exos is not going to rock around. It's going to give me, you know, the support that I need. So then what I do to actually get to my Movi and to get out of this, I'm just going to stand on my tippy toes real quickly. I'm going to slide out of it. Now that I'm you know, outside, I've got, you know, the exos. Um, the, where I want it, all that kind of stuff. Then what I'm going to do next is kind of first mode of operation. I'm going to slide through kind of almost like a boxing glove where my thumb fits on the outside of the, of the strap here and the rest of my fingers go on the inside. And I'm going to do that, you know, both sides when I want to grab the gimbal. So I'm going to release both the arms carefully. You know, now I've got the tension. I can feel the weight. You know, I can feel the support that it's giving me. I'm going to slide over here and I'm just going to grab the Moby. And then instantly I feel like, okay, now I've got the weight of the gimbal. Now I can operate the way that I want. I feel like it's just really just floating with me and it's working with me every single shot that I want to do, all that kind of stuff. So in the other configuration, I just simply slip the, uh, the movie's handles through the strap itself. And you can see now, really, this just floats. And it's just, you know, it just sits in front of me. It can kind of just tip it around and just operate almost like fingertips if I want to. It just allows me to operate it all day long if I want to. You know, now I've got the Moby back on the stand and I want to get, you know, out of the Exos. If first things first, if I have this, if I have these detached, you know, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to lock these back into place. Got one arm and then the other arm. I'm just make sure that they're snug back in the uh, back in the docks and they fit into, you know, this groove right in here. Make sure that they're just in place. And then what I'll do is if I attach my, my chest strap, I'm going to detach that first. 
And then I'm gonna keep my shoulder straps in place. I'm gonna unlock here and here simultaneously. It's just, just gonna pop the belt. And then you see the exit is just hanging on me, just really like a backpack, it just finished sitting on my shoulders. And I can get out of it just simply, just like so. Slide out. And I'll take it and I'll just slide it back onto the stand. Lock it in place, make sure it's stable. And I'm out. So pretty easy. I can, I can operate it by myself. I can get in and out of it myself, all that kind of stuff. It's a really, really cool system in terms of just being able to really realistically operate a heavy gimbal for you know a um, couple of hours, you know, all day long at a time. I uh, really appreciate you guys watching. Um, we'll see you next time.